during your time, you probably did not get any money as a member uh, slash fund or some sort of a money to give to your electorate while you were a member. But today, <coughs> members of parliament get 10 million kina. Do you think uh, the money has created this corrupt mentality or corrupt uh, uh, image that we've, uh, we've, we've apparently developed in this country? Yeah, John, I think we need to talk to them because they'll be the only one who know what they're doing with the money. I really don't know what they do with the money because, you know, the women are asking me for this and that, and I told them I'm, I'm no longer in, the, in Parliament. I, I know whatever little I have, I give, but that's not enough. Uh, but if our members have in 10 million, that's a lot of money. And Should they could, get that money? Should they be paid this kind of money? Well, I mean, you pay them. You pay them to support you. That's, yeah. that's, that has been that thing with the, with the Papua New Guinea people. Yeah. That, uh, you know, when they talk about these things, you, you have to make it uh, reality so that they can support you. But, but that is not the real thing the country needs. Now the country is, you know, they said there's no money. So where do you get the money? That money that you give it to each member, hundred and how many of them, uh, therefore, we don't know where that money is because it's not even going into the in, into the people, yeah. into the community where yes, there's. But it's supposed to. Uh, I see plenty places in national capital district. There's plenty people have no water. Plenty people have no light. Plenty people. There's everything there. Now, where is the money? If uh, if uh, if uh, members for here have that one, go and help these people. Even Pari, I went down to Pari. Pari's got no water. Now, that's a very close to, to the city. Yeah. 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 So yeah. what is that? Even the schools, some of the schools have no water. So, I mean, wasted money. I mean, I wish I know, but I don't know. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. We are going to the polls um, uh, in the middle of this year. What would be your ideal government that comes in and starts doing something about the problems that we are talking about. What is your ideal government? Yeah, I, I never thought about <laughs> ideal government, but <laughs> the, the thing is uh, uh, the people need to uh, think, uh, not me, but them, them yes, because yes. they are in there yes, now, yes. And, and I think we should talk to them what would be an ideal government. Uh, because they'll be the only one who will tell you because they said, oh, the way I did this one, it's wrong. Uh, the way I did this one, it's right. Okay, so maybe this is the way we should go. But I don't see them. I, I, I don't know what they, they talk about uh, when they have their meetings. I, I don't know where that money goes. I know what I see, I think up in the highlands, that a lot of people are doing quite a lot of things with the road and things. So you can see that, that things are happening. But in the Papuan area, there's nothing. I don't see any road that is uh, of the uh, same as the Southern Highlands region where you have the, all the road is perfectly uh, uh, what, uh, sealed, and sealed and upgraded. And, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I don't see that in the Papuan region. So yes, yes. Uh, I don't know. Uh, it, it is, uh, you know. Uh, I don't know what it would be a, a, a government that can, uh, you know, the people need to start talk uh, about uh, these things. Uh, you know, me, my concern is Papua. Yeah, so uh, okay. I... Uh, Papua Bazana is still... I, I try to get, I try to get it out, but I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I try to get it out, but it's just, it just, just stuck there. <laughs> but uh, no, John, that's a, it's, it's, it's a good uh, question. Uh, and, uh, I think um, our own Papuan members, uh, they're not talking about Papua, that's all right, they, 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 they don't believe in it or whatever, that's all right. But uh, my going to the people, because they asked me to go down, it, they, did talk, they do talk about Papua to me. Yes. So uh, I said, well, I'm sorry, I'm not there. Uh, uh, but I really don't want to get in, I want to get somebody, another woman to stand, you know, and uh, so that we kill the two bits with one stone. Pool. The men and the women must get together in parliament. But uh, like I said, don't just go in, in there just for the heck of getting in there. That, that's something we need to really uh, get. Uh, you got in there to do something. Yeah. something. You have a that, purpose. Yeah, have a you purpose. have to have a purpose when you get in there. 
don't just think, oh, you know. That's something that um, I think some of our women in the past, uh, I, I had one or two have been, you know, they wear pride like a jewel, you know, which is not very nice. Mm -hmm. uh, you need to uh, be humble with your people. You have to uh, see that uh, whatever they're doing, try and do something like that. Yeah. I think then uh, the people can identify with you as a leader. I think that is the most important thing with the women. It's not just uh, you go and say, oh, I'm standing and I, I'm this and, and that. No, <laughs> the, the people won't vote for you when you no. do that. Yeah. No. So. Uh, Okay, Dame, well, we are pushing for time. Yeah, uh, I would like to thank you very much for coming on to the show and sharing some of your experiences, your ideas, and I guess your dreams going forward. Thank you very much. This has been Your Vote Matters, a program of interviews with political party leaders and others in the know about politics and elections in Papua New Guinea. Part of MTV's awareness as we head towards the 2022 National Parliament election for our 11th Parliament in the country. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.